$120,000 and four years. This is the price that you have to pay to get a CS degree in 2024. Are you ready to pay this price or are there any other alternatives? Hey, this is Christian. I help aspiring developers just like you make a career change. And in this video, we'll discuss if getting a degree is still the holy grail of landing that first developer job. Because for hundreds of years, a CS degree was the golden ticket to a six figure career in tech. In my opinion, things changed quite a lot in the past two years or so. And probably you notice how so many aspiring developers are struggling to get a developer job with or without a degree. Is it still worth spending $120,000 on a CS degree? In my opinion, absolutely not. And here's why. The main reason why you shouldn't get a CS degree is because if you are not someone who is totally dedicated towards this job, towards this in industry, and if you are not an ultra nerd, if you haven't been coding since you were five years old, getting a degree is absolutely worthless. In fact, you'll be in debt for years to come. Why is that? Everyone looks at this CS degree, like this piece of paper, really, as somehow something that is gonna miraculously open every single door for you. That's kind of the narrative that goes around on the internet and in the real world. What people fail to understand is that if you do not go to the top college in your country, the top college in your state, and if you're not in the top 10 to 20% of your class or of your year, that degree is pretty much worthless. Yes, you will learn some concepts here and there. Yes, you'll know how things work behind the scenes. I have worked with so many people who have CS degrees and they all told me the same thing. They haven't learned how to create applications for the real world. Because at the end of the day, I know there are some companies that are biased towards having a degree and whatnot, but not as many as they used to. Businesses are more open towards the idea of having someone that can you know, contribute to their bottom line with or without a degree. My advice for you, if you are considering getting a CS degree, and if you are, let's say, in your late 30s, maybe you have kids, maybe you have a job, like if you do not have the time, if you do not have four years where you can actually dedicate 16 hours a day towards this uh, degree, then it's absolutely not worth it. There are other ways that are better, in my opinion, and we'll explore them in this video. The first option that you have is to go to a coding bootcamp. That's gonna set you back roughly $13,000. Again, you can do your own research on Google and you'll probably find uh, the same numbers that I found as well. So $13,000 and you'll spend there three months. Should you go to a bootcamp? Absolutely not. It's an absolute scam, absolute ripoff. You can go on my channel and watch all the portfolio reviews I've made from bootcamp grads. Two years ago, yeah, maybe a bootcamp would have helped you, but right now uh, you cannot learn programming in three months. You cannot be a good software developer in three months. It's impossible. Maybe nine months, maybe 12 months. That's kind of the sweet spot. Assuming that you are, you know, doing the right things every single day. So do not go to a bootcamp. You'll be absolutely ripped off. The other option to be self-taught. Self-taught sounds better because, hey, you have free resources or like cheap resources. You pay a hundred bucks for a course, maybe $10 for a course and you're not getting scammed, right? The problem with uh, the self-taught route is that you have no accountability, no direction, no guidance. You have no idea about how good you are. So you have no standard to compare yourself against. You will end up in a situation where you spend four or five years in this job search process, which is literally an entire job by itself. And at some point you'll quit because what's happening, I don't know if you realize how industries were not just tech industry every industry gets harder and harder and harder and harder to get into okay and then self taught developers bootcamp grads and and people that have cs degrees get to a certain level all of them literally all of them get to level two but they never know how to go from level two to level 10. so then you will be stopped you'll be capped by the amount of information that you don't know that you should know go to my channel and search for portfolio reviews and see the standard that junior developers are at today, okay? Nobody is gonna hire junior developers anymore, at least not the current generation. I want you to spend three to six months learning the basics of programming, whatever field you decide to go for, okay? It can be front-end, it can be back-end, it can be full-stack, whatever you decide. I prefer full-stack, start with front-end, then go into full-stack development, okay? I want you to spend the first six months just learning your language, learning your libraries, like really try to understand like 
the ins and outs of what this job is about to and then spend the next three to six months building one single project. You'll build this one single project and then the next step after that is to put that project not in your portfolio. So do not make a website, don't do any of that because if you have a website, a portfolio website, people will think you're a noob and then they will not hire you. You are automatically disqualifying yourself. So make this big project and then you're gonna put this project in your resume, okay? And you say, I work there. If you're good enough, then you should be able to get interviews. If you can get a lot of interviews and if you cannot pass them, then you'll learn how to pass interviews. And there are so many other resources out there. I think if you click on the second link in the description, you'll be able to find in my program for free, a list of questions that every single front-end developer or full-stack developer will be asked at some point. So go through those and study them and prepare them. It's as simple as that. Do not waste your time and money on a CS degree, unless you are an ultra nerd, okay? Unless you are 18, you are able to afford staying at home, for four years studying this stuff like your life depends on it and if you really like it if you cannot guarantee that you can get in the best college in your state or country then forget about it i know there are so many like college maximalists out there but i simply cannot justify getting in debt for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. that's the price of a porsche a porsche 911 literally for what for a degree that's not going to get you anywhere there are so many people that have degrees and cannot get a job. Why would you put yourself in that position? Spend a year, maybe spend two years building one single thing. And I've made hundreds of videos on what projects to build. Maybe I'm going to make another one again. Do that and then you will get hired. You will get paid. Guaranteed fucking paid. All right. That's pretty much it. If you want me to help you, click on the first link in the description. Apply for my mentorship, shameless plug. I'm actually going to help you with this whole process. I'm going to make your life extremely easy. I've done all the hard work. All you have to do is write the code and follow the instructions, follow the steps. Whenever you get stuck, ask me a question and I'm going to sort you out. No problem whatsoever. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.